Now let us discuss about convert regular expression to finite automata by using with direct method. So totally five examples are given. Uh, so now we have to convert these five regular expressions into finite automata by using with direct method. Okay. Uh, first let us see the simple re regular expressions. Let the regular expression is A. Uh, let the current state is Q0. So Q0 on A will goes to uh, the next state. Let it be the final state. So this is the finite automata for the regular expression A. For the regular expression A. Uh, now let us see the next regular expression A plus B. So plus stands for union operation. So union means it may be either A or B. Okay. Uh, so let the current state is Q0. So Q0 on A will goes to the next state. Let the next state is final state. Likewise A or B. So Q0 on B goes to the final state that is Q1. So this is about R operation. So here this is the finite automata for the regular expression A plus B. A or B. Next, let the regular expression is A B, A dot B. So dot stands for concatenation. Here we require three states. So let the initial state is Q0. Let the next state is Q1. Let the final state is Q2. So here the input symbols are A and B. Concatenation. So Q0 on A goes to Q1. Next to Q1 on B goes to Q2. Okay. Uh, let Q2 is the final state here. Uh, now let us see one more regular expression that is A star. So star stands for clean closure. So any number of A's including zero number of A's. Okay. Uh, so let the state is Q0 here. Let the state is Q0 here. Here star means any number of A's. So simply we have to write as yes, final state. Okay. Uh, final state. Uh, this is about A star. Uh, now let us see the next regular expression. Uh, that is A plus B whole star. A plus B whole star. So we know the meaning of A plus B. A plus B means either A or B. So simply we can write the self loop. Uh, let, the in, let the current state is Q0. Q0. So simply we can write the self loop. A comma B. A comma B. So any number of A's or any number of B's. Okay. So this is the finite automata for this regular expression. Uh, now let us see the last simple regular expression. A B whole star. A B whole star. So what is A B whole star? So zero number of A's and B's means epsilon. So one A B means A B. Next to two A B means A B A B likewise. Okay. Uh, so let the current state is Q0. Q0. Uh, let the next state is Q1. Next here what is the regular expression? A B. So Q0 on A goes to Q1. Next to Q1 on B goes to Q0. Here Q0 is the final state. Q0 is the final state. Okay. Uh, so let us assume that the regular expression is uh, epsilon. Epsilon means we will be at Q0 only. Uh, next let the expression is AB. AB means Q0 on A goes to Q1. Next to Q1 on B goes to Q0. Uh, let the string is AB AB. So A next to B AB. So here this Q0 is the final state. Okay. So in this way we can represent the uh, simple regular expressions. Uh, now with the help of this knowledge uh, we need to convert uh, the, these five regular expressions into the finite automata with the help of direct method. So here we are using which approach? Direct method approach. Okay. So let us see the first example. The first example is A star B into A plus B whole star. A star B into A plus B whole star. Okay. Uh, so let the initial state is Q0. Q0. Uh, here A star. A star means what? Simply we can write the self loop. Self loop. Simply we can write the self loop. Next. Next to B. So this is multiplication. So multiplication means uh, we require one more state. So B. Next state is Q1. So A star B is over. So A star into B. Next A plus B whole star. Already we have seen how to represent A plus B whole star. A plus B whole star means either any occurrences of A's or B. So simply we can write the self loop. Within the self loop A comma B. Here what is the final state? 
q1 is the final state so this is a star next this is b next this is what a plus b whole star so this is the finite automata for this regular expression uh, next example so this is the regular expression a plus b into c a plus b into c now our target is we have to convert this regular expression into the finite automata okay so this is nothing but concatenation okay uh, let the initial state is q naught q naught so we know how to represent a plus b so a plus b means either a or b so next first q naught on a goes to q1 next plus means r operator so this is nothing but r okay it may be either a or b so a plus b next into means uh, we require one more state so we need to apply c on q1 let it be the final state let it be the final state so this is nothing but a plus b into c so this is the finite automata for this expression so if we consider here uh, on q naught only a and b are used c is not used on q1 only c is used a and b are not used so if the question is given for more marks like 10 marks then it is better to convert this df this dfa into the uh, nfa okay this nfa into the dfa why because what is nfa nfa means uh, we may use either uh, uh, if uh, here the input alphabet contains three symbols but on state q naught only two symbols are used on q1 only one symbol is used so this is nfa so we have to convert this nfa into dfa but 99 percent the question will be given for uh, uh, three to four marks only why because these are the simple expressions suppose if the question is for more marks then it is better to convert nfa into the uh, dfa also already we have seen that in the first unit i will share that link in the description uh, next uh, third uh, third uh, regular expression 0 star 1 plus 1 0 0 star 1 plus 1 0 so this is nothing but what plus operator union operator so let the initial state is q naught q naught so if you want we can uh, elaborate in detail so this is nothing but 0 star 1 and next r means uh, either this one or this one okay next let the state is uh, uh, let the state number is q f so q f specifies that it is the final state okay if you want we can give the state number also there is no problem uh, next one is 0 star 1 so 0 star means we know how to write 0 star it is self loop so 0 star into 1 so into means concatenation next what is the final state here qf is the final state next here we have 1 0 so how to write 1 0 so for 1 0 we require two more states okay uh, one state is enough already we have that uh, second state uh, so let the next state is q1 so here the input is 1 here the input is 0 so q naught this is nothing but 0 star into 1 plus 1 0 okay if we want here we can write as q2 so in place of qf we can write q2 or here we can write q1 here we can write q2 there is no problem okay so this is the finite automata for this regular expression uh, now let us see the next example so what is the next example so 1 into 1 into so this uh, 1 into 0 0 star 0 0 whole star into 1 into 1 plus 1 0 star 1 0 star 1 so 1 into 0 0 star into 1 plus 1 0 star 1 okay uh, so now let us write the regular expression here so this is nothing but what r operator so r operator means we may have either this situation so 1 into 0 0 star into 1 next 1 0 star 1 it may be either this one or this one let the final state is qf okay next q naught next 1 means this is nothing but concatenation operator so if we apply 1 on q naught then we will go to the q1 state next here we have 0 0 star so we know how to write 0 0 star okay so let us take one more state here so 0 so here let us write here let the state number is q2 so q1 on q2 q1 on 0 goes to q2 next to q2 on 0 goes to q1 q2 on 0 goes to q1 okay so 0 0 0 0 okay uh, next one uh, 0 0 star is over next one is 1 next one is 1 uh, so on applying 1 just we will reach us to the final state so qf next one is 1 0 star so this is also concatenation operator so q naught on 1 goes to the next state that is q2 
Next, 0 star means simply we can write the self root 0 star. Next, here we have 1. So, if we apply 1 on q2, then we will go to the final state. So, this is the finite automata for this regular expression. This is DFA or NFA. This is NFA. Okay. Uh, so, we can convert this NFA into the DFA by using the uh, algorithm NFA to DFA conversion. Okay. If the question is given for more marks like 10 marks, suppose if the question is given for 5 marks, then this uh, finite automata, this NFA is enough. Suppose if the question is given for 10 marks likewise, then it is better to convert this NFA into the DFA also. Now, let us see the last example. So, I will share the link in the description. So, if you have any doubt on how to convert NFA to the DFA, just please refer that video. Uh, let us see the last example. This is most famous example. So, this example is given in uh, uh, many question papers. So, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 star 1. So, 1, 0 plus 0 plus 1, 1, 0 star 1. So, here this is nothing but plus. So, plus means union operation. So, let the initial state is Q0. So, Q0 on 1, 0. We will move to the final state. Next, what is the second one? Second, uh, after R we have 0 plus 1, 1 into 0 star 1. Okay, 0 plus 1, 1 into 0 star 1. Next to Q0. Next to 1, 0. This is nothing but what? Concatenation. So, concatenation means we require one more state here. Next to Q1 on 0 goes to the final state. Final state. Next to 0 plus 1, 1 into 0 star 1. So, 0 plus here we have R operator. So, R operator means uh, it may be either 0 or 1, 1. So, we need to have one more state. Let that state is Q2. So, Q0 on Q2, Q0 on 0 goes to Q1. Uh, next, let us write a little bit, uh, little bit down. So, what is the state number? Q2. Q2. Next, uh, 1. So, this is nothing but 1, 1. 1, 1 means concatenation. So, Q3, 1. So, this is nothing but 0. This is R operator. So, 0 or 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. 0 plus 1, 1 is over. Next to 0 star 1. So, 0 star means we can write as the self loop 0. Next, if we apply 1 on Q2, then we will move to the final state. Okay. Uh, so, what is this finite automata? 1, 0 plus next 0 plus 1, 1 into 0 star into 0 star into 1 into 1. Okay. Uh, so, in this way, we can convert uh, regular expression into the finite automata with the help of the direct method.